The results of this, though, were really outstandingly positive. Um, there was, uh, in order to avoid bias, a central review uh, of all of the imaging and central review of as the composite standard of truth as well. Uh, and then a uh, statistician uh, essentially blinded to, to those two groups reading those uh, um, PYL scans and their standard of truth then brought those data together. Uh, what was defined as what that would be a success is if, uh, if the lower bound of the 95% confidence interval, interval uh, for the uh, correct localization rate was greater than 20%. It would be considered to be a successful study. And as it turned out, the three independent readers, the CLR on, for those was 85.6%, 87%, and 84.8% for each of those readers. So this was well above the 20% uh, benchmark that had been established for positivity. Um, and then the second thing that we looked at was uh, the clinical decision making that was made as a result of those scans. So prior to the imaging and then following the imaging, the clinician basically noted <clears throat> what the decision making was in terms of the management of those patients before and after and whether the scan changed the management. So 64% of the uh, patients who had the scan had a change in intended management and importantly, 21% of those changes were from a non-curative systemic therapy <clears throat> to salvage local therapy with at least curative intent. So that's a really important uh, change in, in management. Um, for about 30% of the patients, they were intended before the scan to just have salvage local therapy, but then after the scan, there was a change in management of those patients to either supplement that salvage therapy or replace it altogether with systemic therapy.